what's going on guys? It's Rob here with the Nerdy Review. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the thermistor on your hot end, on your Prusa MK3 i3, Mark 3, however you want to call it. It's all the same. Uh, anyways, uh, so all you're going to need for this video is a pair of snips, uh, some zip ties which come with your Prusa, and then you'll need a 1.5 Allen wrench and then your M3 Allen wrench, as well as you'll need a new thermistor hot end thermistor, which I'll drop a link in the description for where we found ours. But, uh, simple as that, we're, now let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your printer to whatever um, temperature settings for the plastic that you normally use, or at least the last one that you used. The reason for doing that is so we can loosen up the screw to get the uh, thermistor released without messing up the nozzle. And then the second thing you need to do is just clip the bottom, uh, the bottom zip ties. You don't have to clip anything on the top here. And this is at least my method, and I think it's the easiest because I hate rewiring, rewiring the harnesses. But then after that, you will just start unscrewing this top piece and the, open the door. I forgot to mention that there's one more zip tie underneath the hot end. It's to, uh, under the left fan and you just got to carefully snip that, make sure you don't hit any wires. Now moving on to the rest of the, the harness, Slip, uh, snip all your zip ties. And then take your thermistor cable and carefully pull it out of the harness. I try to not pull out any other wires just to make it as easy as possible when I'm rewiring it. And uh, you can just leave that in there for now. And at this point, you can turn off your preheated Prusa. So I removed the, uh, the front fan just for the purposes of the video, but you can leave that on there. All you have to do is take your 1.5 Allen wrench and stick it in the hole right there. And then if your printer is preheated, it'll be really easy to unscrew that. But you got to be careful because this, this screw is super easy to lose. And I don't think you would have an extra one on hand. So then at that point, you can just pull your old thermistor out, set it to the side. And then take your new one set it in. I like to just try to get it as even as possible. Take the screw and tighten her up, but not too tight. You don't want to damage the, the thermistor. So at this point you can now start to reinsert your new hot end cable into the wiring harness. I tried to make this easy on myself, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Oh, there we go. Not too bad at all. So now real quick, I'm going to zip tie that top piece to the, the top of the harness. Alright, so the last thing that we need to do is just take out the old hot end cable and replace it with the new one. Cool, should be good to go. Obviously you'll have to finish zip tying your harness and closing up the doors. Uh, after that, I would recommend maybe running a PID calibration, but also more importantly, you want to run a cell test just to make sure everything's working fine. But then after that, you should be good to 
good to keep on printing. So uh, thanks for checking out this video. I hope it helped you guys. Drop a comment below, like, and follow the Nerdy Review. Thanks, fellas.